All right, everyone, we're gonna be making some banana bread. All right, let's get started. Let me grab a bowl. I already kind of pulled everything out. That way it gets done much quicker. Um, let's see. We're gonna have a wet and dry mixture. So you know what, let's get started on melting the butter. And I'm gonna do the dry in here. So 200 grams of flour, some starter. So this is just some sourdough starter. Again, you don't have to use this, but if you have sourdough starter, then go ahead. But again, you don't have to. So as long as you know the flour equals up to about 200 215 you'll be good so yeah again you don't have to use this oh wow it's almost fully there well i'm still gonna add some let's put this away this will melt right now and then we'll mix our wet in there salt since i added a little bit extra this is the recipe you can follow but i'm gonna do a little bit more today it's kind of hard to mess up banana bread some cinnamon some baking soda Some sugar. Hundred and fifty grams of sugar. Probably do a little bit more. That works. And let's see. Salt, baking soda, cinnamon, flour, sugar. Okay, this is good. Just gotta mix this together. Got all the dry ingredients. But for the most part, the dry ingredients. Because we do have the sourdough starter in there. Smells good. Okay. Now for the the wet bananas. That's what we need to work on. So I got four ripe bananas. You could use two, you can use three, but shoot, they're all ready to go. So I'm gonna use them all. I'm gonna place this butter in here for now. Cause I'm gonna mix it in after. trash can and the potato masher it won't fit yeah I use something bigger I just use this bowl yeah if you peel your bananas from the bottom side it'll take off the little stringy texture you know, these little strings, or hopefully it would. I guess it didn't. These are very ripe. And this is what I do with bananas that have gone, well, have become too mushy for me. Boom. 
Okay. So let's mash this up. You can use a fork. I don't have to use one of these. Mash it to your liking. You can make it very smooth or you can leave it like that. I like some texture in mine. That looks good. I'll just go ahead and mix in everything. Right here. Let's do the butter. Put that over here. What else? Some vanilla. You don't need too much vanilla. It's pretty strong. Oh, cool trick for cracking your eggs. You know, if you ever feel like you're always getting eggshells in your eggs. What I found is, I forgot who I learned this from, but hit your eggs against each other. Oh, that was a little too strong. But regardless, no shells. See that? And kind of hitting it on the side. Of course, your last egg won't have another egg to break it upon, but hey, it works. Okay, I think that's everything. Vanilla eggs starter. Yeah, it's good to go. So now we just mix this. And we'll mix the dry with the wet. And you don't want to over mix. Why? I'm not too sure why, but I've heard you don't want them overmixed with like baked, certain baked goods, like sweets with flour. Well, with like making bread, it's fine. You're developing the gluten, but with this, it's just pretty much mix it to the point where everything is thoroughly mixed. That there's no more, you know dry ingredients in it. Everything's well incorporated. It's almost there. And yeah, it's really this easy. Shoot, I needed to preheat this oven. So, 350 won't take too long to preheat. And then you'll leave it in there for about an hour. You know what? I don't think this is going to fit in my little nice, you know, bowl or my tin for bread. Nope, not going to fit. So, Dutch oven, it is. It should be nice because I can kind of. Preheat that as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Might have to lower this one down one more. Good thing it ain't hot yet. All right, gonna see you in a little bit. Just gotta let this preheat. All right, it's preheated. Let's. Pull out the Dutch oven and get things going. Oh, careful, it's hot and heavy. I'm gonna go ahead and grease the sides. Be generous, I don't want it to stick. And then now we just pour our batter. And I decided to add an extra ingredient, which you guys will see in just a moment. So let me just pop all this in there, make sure all of it gets in there. Why let it go to waste? It's gonna be great with some coffee. There you go. Okay, next thing I need to do is add that final ingredient. 
some chocolate chips, and I'm right on top. Just a few more. And there you go. I'm happy with that. Cover. And then we'll throw it in there for 60 minutes. I'm gonna do 30 minutes covered, 30 minutes uncovered. So let's go for it. Timer. 30. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, it just went off. It's been in there for about an hour. Um, I didn't record it when I took off the top, but I took it off like within like 30 minutes. And yeah, about an hour, give or take. What you wanna do to make sure it's good. Um, toothpick, go through. If it comes out clean, it's good. Um, as long as it doesn't have batter. If it's melted chocolate, that's fine. However, I don't have the toothpick, so I'm using chapstick. So, let's try it. Yeah, came out clean. We're good to go. So, I'm just gonna pull this out so I can leave it, let it cool down. And finish the baking process. And yeah. Loosen it up. Extremely heavy, so be careful. Ooh. Not the ooh. Not the easiest thing to do. Oh. Well there you go. Careful. You can really burn yourself. The loaf pan would be the better way to do it, but hey, it worked. It got done. So that's what matters. Thank you guys. Check it out. Nice and beautiful. Enjoy your day.